question. It's more of a consumer question. I, I think um, you speak up. Just speak up a little bit, Jim. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Okay. Hey, I just have a consumer question about probiotics. Sure. Something sure. that really confused me. Maybe you can help me out. Is uh, okay. when you go to the store, whether it's the health food store or even the pharmacy, there are the refrigerated probiotics and the yeah. non-refrigerated. Which do do? ones are better? Does it's a great it matter? Question. Yeah, that's a great question. Well, considering probiotics are actually living substances, they're, they're bacteria. They're not, it's not a supplement. It's not a pill. These are living entities, living bacteria. Common sense would tell you that they should be refrigerated. However, as it turns out, there are manufacturers who claim, I say claim, I don't know for sure, and I've talked to many of them. In fact, I'm going to a show next week called Supply Side West where there's all these supplement companies selling raw materials to uh, – to folks like myself and, and people who work for Longevity, who are formulators, and they're selling raw materials. And there's tons of probiotic folks there. If you're interested in checking out a really cool show, if you like nutritional supplementation and you like nutritional supplements, it's called Supply Side West, and it's they do it in Las Vegas every year, and they do it in New, Jer- they do it in New Jersey every spring, and they do it in Las Vegas every every fall. I'll be going to it next week. Uh, it's a super cool show. It's at Mandalay Bay, I think, this year, and. Uh, uh, it's kind of technical, but you get to see all the nutri- all the raw material suppliers, the people who make the vitamin C, the people who make the minerals, who actually pr- make and sell the minerals to nutritional companies. Anyway, when I go every year, I always make sure I talk to the probiotic folks to see what the latest and greatest is in the world of probiotics. And I've had these discussions with them, and they say, and they tell, they tell me that uh, there are manufacturers who have figured out how to keep the bacteria alive, how to keep the bacteria viable, in a uh, encapsulated way so that you don't have to refrigerate the product. So just because a product is not refrigerated doesn't necessarily mean that it's ineffective, all right? Although common well, sense tell, tells us that refrigeration is going to be a little bit better. I want to tell you, there's one more thing about probiotics I'll tell you about, but go ahead. You can ask me something, Jim? Uh, just one other question. Yeah. And also, the, from a consumer standpoint, what also confuses me is there's a, a tremendous difference in just, let's just say the refrigerated brands, I mean, they can be thirty dollars a bottle. Then you yeah. can have the same equivalent in another brand that's forty dollars a bottle. Yeah. And you look over on the shelf where they have the non-refrigerated ones, and they're obviously more cost-effective. So I think for the consumer, and plus as a consumer, you never know if they're alive or not, right? I mean, you're absolutely correct. You get absolutely, you don't know if they're alive. You don't know what's in there. There's no way to test them. You know, this is the trick with probiotics, and that's why I'm always saying that in addition to probiotics, you want to make sure you're doing fermented foods. If you do fermented foods, especially if you make your own fermented foods, which are super easy to do, all you got to do is get some bacterial starter pack from a health food store and make your own sauerkraut. Chop up some some cabbage and and put some bacterial starter on there and cover it up, and you make your own sauerkraut. You can make your own kimchi. You can make your own yogurt. You can make your own – get a book called The Art of Fermentation. That's really the ultimate way to make sure that you're getting the bacteria that you need is by making your own foods. However, when it comes to a supplement, there are some benefits. There's a lot of benefits that you can get from a supplement. But here's the trick, Jim. You've got to experiment. Different brands will have different effects. Different brands will have a different spectrum of bacteria. You know, some brands will have 12 different types of bacteria. Some will have 15 types of bacteria. They'll have different kinds of bacteria. There's hundreds, maybe thousands of different strains of bacteria. The human gut has at least 500 different strains of bacteria. So you're not going to know which particular formulation is best for you until you experiment. Not only that, you're not going to know what the dosage is until you experiment. And this is the trick with probiotics. So what you want to do is dose yourself functionally and buy a product that works functionally. So what you do is you you buy a product. I like starting everybody off on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. It's my favorite probiotic supplement. It's got a wide spectrum of bacteria, and it's got a good, healthy dose. Uh, per capsule, and you want a good healthy dose per capsule for cost-effective reasons. Now, I know the manufacturers of the Biolumin Nightly Essence. We've had them on the program. So I have, there's a trust factor there. I trust the guy. He's an he's a, he's a enzyme and bacterial expert, probiotic expert, Troy Opperlay. And we've had him on the program, and, and he's a friend of mine, and I know him. So I recommend the Biolumin Nightly Essence first and foremost. So what you do is you use the Biolumin Nightly Essence to see what happens. You can tell by your digestive symptomology if you're getting benefits, especially constipation and loose stools, also gas and bloating. If you notice benefits, take a little more. If you say you take three, three capsules of the Biolumin Nightly Essence and you notice some benefits, take a little more, see what happens. You take four, you go, wow, I got even more benefits. Then take a little more. Take five a day. 
and see what happens. You say, well, I don't notice that much of a difference. Then maybe take a, a six a day, see what happens. Oh, no, I don't notice any difference. You'll know that your good dose is four or five a day. That's called functional dosing. And when it comes well, to non, non, non-nutritional elements like enzymes and probiotics, that's how you want to dose. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jim. No, just in one more question that leads me to uh, – I've just I've done that, and what I basically what I do is I start out at which one has the you know the the most um, probiotics in it. So now they have ones that are up to a hundred billion. Yeah. So some say ninety, fifty, forty, right. a hundred, right. sixty. So there's there's a lot lot to try there. It's so playing. <laughs> and you know what? In pharmacy school, we say let your body be the laboratory. That means how is your body responding? Let your body be the laboratory. I'm giving you guidelines on this program, but ultimately we're all individuals. It's called biochemical specificity or biochemical individuality. This is the problem with metrics and the problem with tests and the problem with standard doses for people. You know, one scoop or two scoops per pound or, you know, everybody's different. You've got to dose functionally. It's a little bit easier with, with uh, nutritional supplements because we know the window. We know where, where you need to be, generally speaking. There's a, a, a range, a dosage range with nutritional supplements. Not so with enzymes, not so with probiotics, not so with all, the, all non-nutritional supplements. There's not really a range. So you've got to take, you got to dose yourself functionally. I wish it was easier. You know, we all want this easy answer, but sometimes there's some experience experimentation that's involved, and why shouldn't there be? In life, everything's an experiment. It's called the scientific method. You make a hypothesis, that is, you give yourself some kind of idea, and then you test your hypothesis, and then you return, and, you're, and then you refine the hypothesis. So you start off with a dose, four a day, on the probiotics, or if you want to do billions of units, say 100 billion units a day, and you see what happens. If you get benefits, then you're good. Maybe up it a little bit and see what happens. And when you reach a point of diminishing returns, you'll know you got a good, you, you can be at that place. Now, with brands, it's the same way. Just because you don't notice benefits with a probiotic brand doesn't implicate probiotics as being a waste. It may, it may just mean that brand is not effective for you. That spectrum that's contained in that brand is not effective for you, so find a different one. Keep playing so, with it. Yeah, that makes sense because I've tried two different well-known brands and one I really didn't notice anything, and then I've gone back to another one I have used, and I've Perfect. Noticed. Then so, you see, that that, this, this is how it works. Let your body be a laboratory. I'm giving you guidelines here on this program, but we're all individuals, and we want to learn to trust our inherent wisdom. Trust the inherent wisdom of the body. The body will always tell you when you're on the right track. The body will always tell you when you're on the wrong track, too. We just don't listen. That's what this program's all about, you guys. Thanks for your call, Jim. I appreciate it. It's about empowering us. It's about disempowering the predatory, exploitative model that we set up for health, the so-called mainstream medical model, taking the power back and putting it where it belongs, back in our laps. And it's so simple, folks. Get on, a, get on the Healthy Star Pack. Get on a good nutritional supplement program. Use your Biolumin Nightly Essence and your Fucoid Z and the Jordan Rubin products. Watch what happens. It's not a single drug on planet Earth that can tell you you're going to feel better and you're going to improve your health condition. You may dumb down your symptoms, but you're not going to improve your health condition. But that is the world. That is the realm of what we call nutrition and nutritional supplements. All right. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're interested in checking out my Truth Treatment products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, head over to truthtreatments.com. And if you're interested in checking out the longevity products, head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com.